Question number four. Find the derivative using the chain rule. So what we're going to need to do is identify the outside function or the outer function f of x and the inner function g of x. So the inner function will be just this trinomial. 3x to the 7 minus 5x cubed plus x. Great. What about the outer function? Well, it'll be just x to the power of 9. So x to the 9. Great. So, according to the chain rule, y prime will be, of course, we're taking a look at f of g of x, right? f of g of x. So y prime will be f prime of g of x times g prime of x. So let's find this element first. What is f prime of g of x? Well, we have f of x, and that's x to the 9. So f prime of x will be just, well, I can bring down the 9, multiply it by x to the power of 8, and just subtract 1 from the 9. That's it. But that's just f prime of x, and we want f prime of g of x. Well, what's g of x? Just this whole thing. So you can just plug that right in there. Look at that. Great. Now, we need to multiply this by g prime of x. And what is g prime of x? Just the derivative of this whole thing. So, the derivative of 3x to the 7, I can bring down the 7, multiply by the 3. 3 times 7 is 21. Then we subtract 1 from the 7. Look at that. 21x to the power of 6 minus... Now, the derivative of 5x cubed, I can bring down the 3, multiply by the 5, I get 15. Subtract 1 from the 3, so I get 15x to the power of 2, or 15x squared. And the derivative of x is just 1. Fantastic. So, this is g prime of x. And now we're basically done, because we have all elements that we were looking for. y prime is f prime of g of x, which is this whole thing right here. I'm just going to have the answer in one color. Hopefully that won't confuse anyone. So we have 9 times 3x to the 7 minus 5x squared. Sorry, cubed, not squared plus x to the power of 8, times g prime of x, which is this component here, 21x to the 6, minus 15x squared, plus 1. And that's it.